Jared Smix here. I want to thank our Patreon supporters, Evan. Thank you so much, Evan, for being a super duper numpkin. And of course, the amazing, brilliant, fantastic as ever, Odie Chatfield as well for bringing you this video. Thank you so much, Evan. Thank you so much, Odie Chatfield. Both of you are the normest of the numpkins, and we really, really do love you so much. We have a full long play here, it's a big one. I recorded the first few hours on Twitch, but the rest of it is a YouTube exclusive. This is Cold Fear. I played this ages ago on the RPG Minx, and now is a full, and actually I think a lot better than my original playthrough playthrough, coming your way. Um, hope you guys will enjoy. If you enjoy these long plays, please, 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 I can't stress enough at the moment, consider pledging to our Patreon. It helps keep these long plays coming, it helps keep things going. There's a link in the description. We really do need your support right now, if you can help us out. Finally, shout out to our producer, Alice. Alice, you are an amazing nomkin as always, and we love you. Alice's link's on screen right now. Make sure you give Alice a follow, a sub, all that good stuff, and enjoy Cold Fear. All right, guys, this is Cold Fear. Let's check it out. Wow, my memory card, huh? Just check the settings. I don't know if it's got any decent settings yet, but um... Oh, subtitles by default. That's interesting. I love the way it says 16x9, but I'm just putting it out in 16x9 already. Might up the brightness a little, if I can. Oh, you have to adjust your TV's brightness. That's lame. Alright, let's go. Place on normal. I look really, really bad. Come in. Come in. Damn it, Hernandez. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus. Law. Can you hear me? Come on. Somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come in. Get me another asset out there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Get me another ass out there, Pronto. Acid. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood out. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is so dramatic. Know about ammo conservation. Okay. Due to the platform's irregular supplies, we must conserve our munitions and medkits as much as possible. Therefore, live ammo training is now suspended pending new orders. In a combat situation, it's vital that all soldiers look to their downed comrades as potential sources of ammo or medkits. In the same interests of economy, use body searches when really necessary. 
Use the butt of your rifle in close combat situations that will enable you to gain necessary distance to adjust your aim. Some of your opponents will attempt to immobilize you. Do not simply empty your clips. Strike at them to free yourself and shoot them at point blank range. This is generally highly effective. Anishchenko. Wow. I thought they were breaking the fourth wall there, but they're not. You heard the man. Keep it tight. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Chill out. I'm sorry, swinging box. Please don't decapitate me or something. I've just got to head down here. I will say, while it's not a constant issue, the constant movement of the ship on deck is really annoying in this. Oh, that takes... They damaged me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. The waves damage you, too. Hi. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Yes. I think he was shooting at me there, but um boats aren't exactly built the same way ours are. I better read the inscription so that I don't get lost. You better read the inscription. What inscription? This door is locked by an electrical system. There we go. Maybe I can shoot this. Okay, how do I shoot? Oh. I forgot the shooting in this is like kind of weird, sort of like third person shooting. Oh my god, okay, that didn't happen, everyone. Alright, <laughs> just ignore, just ignore that. Oh wow, I blew his face off. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Go back. Go back. I want to loot their bodies. It said loot their bodies. They're full of jam. Is there anything else here? There's a body. I want to loot you. There we go. Got some more pistol ammo. Excellent. I don't trust any of these bumpkins in here. A note about electrical boxes. Can I read that, please? According to witnesses, Corporal Lagaya has misplaced his electronic key while on duty. Unable to reach his official post, he promptly fired at the electrical control box on door 114, causing it to explode. Exposed live wiring subsequently came in contact with a pool of water on the floor. The door opened, however, Corporal Lagaya was electrocuted. No follow-up necessary. Can we go in here? Are these doors? I don't think they actually are. Maybe this one? Okay. Hello there, sir. Can you help me? Pistolana. Excellent. Thank you. 
I got 42 bullets, which means I can miss 42 times. It's exciting stuff, if you ask me. A note about the armory. Smoking in the armory is strictly forbidden. All types of munitions are stored there, and some are particularly unstable. Moreover, in our environment, there is a high probability of corrosion, which makes the handling of ammunition an even more delicate issue. You are remain reminded that our facilities for dealing with serious injury are extremely limited. And this chunker. Question is... Right. Why are all the notes in English when they're Russian? Okay, so basically, if you need ammo, you can come back to here and get pretty much an infinite supply of ammo from this room. So it's actually impossible to run out, but you could run out while you're exploring and shit like that. Oh, we're waiting, and there's something flashing in the water. What is this? What could you possibly be? Pick it up! Got the upper deck key. Hi! What were you- okay! Alright, we'll just ignore him, and, uh, and go back. Our main character here, by the way, is called Tom. He's a, uh, wonderful, deep character. Right. Oh, I don't know what this means! It's in Russian! It's so confusing! I don't understand! What do I do? What do I do? I found a page from Yusporov's diary. Our first encounters with the creatures we are now calling exocells came roughly two months after drilling commenced on the Star of Sakhalin platform. In fact, I was already familiar with this platform. We used to use it as a port of call when patrolling these hostile waters, and I was determined it would again be deployed as part of our international operations. Whilst drilling, it effectively stopped some years ago. This was not because the rig was unprofitable. Quite the contrary. It was simply because the spare parts often needed were simply never delivered. The Russian state's private partners grew weary of the whole affair. All I had to do was wait a couple of years to repurchase it for scrap. At first, the cartel was sceptical about the new XSLs come... Hang on. At first, I was skeptical about the new operation's success, and I made the necessary investments for its recommissioning myself. The communication jammer, the plan for which has been provided by former Red Army brain Sergei Oterian, was remarkably effective, as part of our international ears were concerned. Whether listening in on Earth or from space, there was nothing there but an inhospitable ocean and the odd iceberg. For the first 25 days, drilling was successful as expected, and then, even though our sonars confirmed the presence of a huge oil reserve, the pressure started to drop. Suddenly, the drill brought up several exocells that Anish Cherkoway's men had great difficulty in overcoming. Two days later, we noticed more specimens crawling up the platform's columns. I immediately gave Anishchenko orders to capture some of them. That's when I first saw my first contamination. Okay. Looks like we got aliens in the ice, guys. It's an old cliche, but you know. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Okay. I don't like this. There's alarms. What does this say? I understand fully. Let's go in here. I heard a bad guy. That's right. That's fucking right. That's fucking right. Get fucking wrecked. I think you're so fucking good. Teach you all a fucking lesson. Nothing on him. He just shot at me. He must have some bullets. And Oh, did he use all his shots on me in that one second? Apparently he did. What a dickhead. What an absolute dickhead. Is 
It's very dark in this room. I don't like that, by the way. It's a real problem. Any doors around here, or was this just an empty room that I just killed everyone in for funds? I'm okay with both of those things, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? This is not the room I thought it was. Oh, hi! Hi! Sir? Okay. Anything, anything interesting? Just lots of really, really jammy food in here. I guess that was what was being served today on the menu, right? It's just jam. Just delicious jam. Oh, we're not going down there, so let's uh, just go through here for now. Oh god, okay, okay. Uh, who is shooting at me? Wow, someone is shooting at me from quite a long way away right now. A lot. I've got a note about barrels. Nothing on him. There's something there I can see. I can see. Oh, I'm fully on, I'm full on the ammo. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, let me reload. Then I can pick it up, right? Apparently not. That is not true. Someone is going nuts with a gun. I know about barrels. The standard regulations for storage of explosive chemicals are not being followed. Neither on our supply ship, nor on the drilling platform itself. Well, that's unfortunate. We've even seen barrels lying about that are not tied down. I ask you to exercise your authority to remedy this situation. I know that these barrels can be extremely effective against our enemies, therefore even if it means using them as weapons, I prefer to decide on their positions with you. I will ensure my men use them wisely. Hint, hint, you can blow people up with barrels. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna be fighting here, so this is gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, I can't see shit right now. I know someone was shooting at me, but I can't actually see. They're over there. Get fucked. Oh my god! Wow, he got fucked. Holy shit, he went fucking miles! We're not doing too good for health or ammunition here, though. Not for health, sorry. We're good for ammunition, but not for health. That's what I meant to say. All burned. I guess maybe don't shoot the explosive barrel, should I not need to? This guy is, like, really, like, lost a lot of weight there as well. Look at him. Impressive, impressive. One of you should drop some health soon. Be great. A health pack. Oh, I got full health from him. I love you. You're my favorite Russian. Dormitory. Oh, I guess we're going here. Any bumpkins here? Bumpkins, hello? It's probably nothing. Page from his diary again. Let's have a read. Oh, it's a, do a different diary. Dr. Kamsky's diary. Notes on XSL infection. We've deliberately infected and observed over 300 subjects, including dogs, apes, orcas, and human beings. That sounds like a really bad idea. These subjects have been placed under permanent biometric surveillance and dissected to accurately chart the growth of the exocell organism and help us learn how to change the process. 
The time it takes an infected individual to mutate depends on two factors. How long it takes the exocell to get a tendril into the victim's brain, and how the infected body's natural resistance. At present, we have no way of knowing how long the complete process takes for a given individual, since body mass, height, and age seem to be of little importance. Any individual infected by an exocell should thus be given the antidote as quickly as possible. If no antidote is available, the host brain must be destroyed. And I mean destroyed! prevent the subject from becoming an active and potentially contaminating host. Indeed, the XSL seems to be able to reanimate a brain that has been clinically dead for several days. Alright, so burn the brains. Got it. Alright, what else is in here? I can't really see shit, to be honest with you. Is that a health kit? I think it is. No need for a med kit. So you can't hold med kits in this game, by the way. Um, oh god. You, uh, you only can use them when you, like, you can only pick them up when you need them. A bit like in a first-person shooter. So you can't, we can't, like, store medkits. If that makes sense. I, I hear something breathing. Lansing? Oh, man. Wow, he died having the shit of his life. At least I found the code. Hi. Hello, Numkin. Oh, I thought you were a zombie, but this the guy behind you is a zombie. Well, I think his brain got destroyed. I'm not an expert, but I think his brain got destroyed. So, again, this game doesn't have set save points, by the way. It has, like, checkpoints at various intervals that you have to get to in order to progress. As we're playing on a special PlayStation, I'm probably going to fucking abuse the fuck out of that, because this game has shit save points. Like, they're in some of the worst fucking places ever. Should point out, by the way, that I'll get up again. Oh shit! Didn't realize there was another one. Not good. Oh, this is not really good at all. That one's down. You can stamp on their heads, but I can't remember how. There you go, circle, stamps on their heads. Okay, so you can stamp on their heads when they're down to uh, make things easier. So you can knock them down and stamp on your heads. I'm gonna go back and grab that health kit because I got wrecked there by those guys. All right, we need to go backtrack now quite a long way. Probably gonna be more of those guys out on the deck and that's okay. Music is fucking going crazy right now. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God, the fucking boat. Go, 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 get up here. Get up here, I was really fucking lucky to stay on then. I forgot that was a thing. The clutch. The clutch! Go, 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 go in here. Jesus Christ.
radio room must be up these stairs. Let's put the sprinklers on for now. Well, I mean, I turned the fire off. Right? Right? All burned. Like, what the fuck was I supposed to do there? He just sort of ran in there. We're back here again now. We're full on health still at the, mo at the moment, so that's, that's good. We're just doing a bit of backtracking at the moment. I will say, so I'm using a walkthrough for this, like, obviously. And the game has some incredibly obscure shit that I would never figure out in a million years what to do. Like, I would have no idea I'd had to come back here, right now, for this area, but apparently I do. For this. Oh, I killed him! Holy shit, he was hiding! He was hiding like a little bubba. We'll do the job. Okay, we found a wheel that we need to open a door somewhere. Oh my god, he just was like, whoa, I'm just gonna lie down. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. That was a waste of a med kit. A big waste. Oh well, uh, it'll happen at some point, I guess. I need to make sure I know what I'm picking up. Oh, hi. Didn't know you were there. I cannot see shit right now. Really shouldn't have wasted that med kit there. Jesus Christ. Right, we've been down here before. Why are we going down here again? Oh, did I just kill a bunch of guys that were in the water? Right, at least we got through this now anyway. Oh, we got our next save point. Excellent. Making good progress so far. Everything is really going pretty numb. Oh my god. Oh, I remember this room. Oh no. Oh no. I've got a note about red fuel valves. Let's have a look. Major, it comes to our attention that some of your men have been playing at shooting the red valves off the fuel pipes. Not only does this lead to lengthy, dangerous, and costly repairs, it also causes the jet of burning gas to burst from the broken valve. Two technicians have been badly injured as a result. Please order your men to cease this immediately. What have they been doing? Why were they doing that? What the actual fuck? That's broken. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We got a dead orca. They said they were doing experiments on orca, right? There's something here. What is it? Oh, a heal. Oh, I guess I needed it in this instance. My controller is vibrating. Not good. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, great. Get off the fucking road, please. Wow, these are hard to shoot. Okay, ah, the, the valves, the valves, they help. Jump in the fire. I think I'm alright. Nope, I am not alright. I think, I think we've won the music stop, so that means we probably won. I only have one bullet left. This is not a good situation to be in here. Alright. Could be a problem here though, seeing as I have no bullets left. Oh. Hey, at least it's killed him. Problem is, um... You know, the electricity. I've got to run in between, I'm gonna guess. Come on. Alright, this is quite a big cooldown, right? Go 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 Oh I can get ammo here, I just realized. The armory is just around the corner. Let's get ammo while we're here. Makes perfect sense to do so. Hey, here we go. Got full ammo again. Excellent! We made some pretty good progress so far today, though, on this. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Oh, someone is definitely here. Squish. I do like the fact you can just completely destroy their fucking heads if you need to. Is that heals? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, there's this little room where he likes to. He was just having a good time, hanging out, having a fun time, and then I come along like a complete bumpkin and ruin everything. Right, we're going around this way now. Oh, there's one of those things coming. The crawly things. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. I cannot move right now. Where's the little thing that's screaming? I hear screaming. Don't like hearing screaming. Guessing it's in this room. This looks like a radio. Oh, here. You, hello. Bravo, seven niner, can you hear me? Who am I speaking to? Where's Lansing? Lansing's dead. This is Hansen. Everyone else is down. Bloody hell. Then I guess we're stuck with each other, Hansen, but you're not the only survivor. There's still a very dangerous man loose on that ship. Colonel Dmitry Yusupov. He needs to answer a few questions. Round him up, and then we'll get you out of there. Who's we? 
I'm CIA Special Agent Bennett, Mr. Hansen. The CIA? Patch this frequency through your headset. You might need my help. Bennett, out. Well, great. I Just completely great. trust this guy. Find Yuspinov is my objective. Well, I guess we'll get out of here. Oh, something else. So where is this guy I'm looking for? Rear deck house. We got a fast satellite look through the cloud cover and pinpointed him. Must be nice. I'm on my way. I was trying to go through this door again. I went through this door already again. Oh, you're on the side point. Excellent. This is going relatively well, I think. I think it's going pretty numb. For a game with me by myself being a dumbass. Hi. Hello. I'm not very good at hitting you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I blame playing on PS2. Okay. Nope, there, I hear another one. Oh god, it's attached to my brain. Oh my god, that was horrific. Where'd it go? Jesus, they're hard to hit. It sucked my brain. Now I'm less smart Tom than I Tom am. Alright. We now have to go all the way back along this way again. Oh wow, shit's really going on here. Oh wow, the crew and them are having a great, having a great time. Holy shit, look. Who are we to interrupt this party, huh? Are there any explosives down here? There are. Well, I didn't do anything. I did fuck all, initially. I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, 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 it is on fire. I thought so. That was me. Me, 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 me. I did all the work. Who's shooting me and where from? Because I'm nearly dead. I mean, I just saved, so I'm not overly worried, but... I currently can't see shit. So, uh... And we're probably gonna fall off the boat. I hope some of these drop health, because otherwise I am in the shit. Oh, hang on, you went dead. Excellent. Please give me health and ammo. Ammo's good. Oh, thank fuck. What's in here? Anything? An AK. Fuck off. I'm really busy right now, okay? Reading shit. I'm gonna read this note in your fucking face. Fire extinguishers. Many of the men on board the ship have been replacing the fire extinguisher foam with piss. They think it's really funny, but actually, it's really dangerous. But it just so happens that the fire extinguishers loaded with piss are very, very dangerous to the exoprimal things, whatever the fuck they're called. Also, just to be extremely cautious of exchanging gun for rooms containing fire extinguishers, these devices contain highly compressed gas, which can cause explosions. <laughs> compressed gas. You will hold, you will be held responsible for any damage you cause to your ship or to your comrades. Excellent.
Anything else I can loot in here. Ammo for the AK. That's nice. Oh no. We gotta get past this shit again. This bullshit. Hi. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep running and assume that you'll die. <laughs> Okay, probably should not do that here though. You know, when there's loads of people with guns everywhere. Hang on, are they zombies shooting me? That's cheating! Zombies are too dumb to shoot, what the fuck? I'm in trouble here, holy shit. Give me heal, give me heal. It's not a heal. Give me heal. Pop the head! Give me heal! It's not a heal! I'm gonna die here, this is bullshit. There's like 20 fucking dudes! How are you not dead? I just saw you fucking go down! Pop his head! Oh my god, you fucking dickhead. Pop his head! Pop it! Pop his head! Thank you! Jesus fucking Christ! Give me a health kit now! You did not give me a health kit. I'm dead. Fuck me. First death. That was bullshit. Oh. Alright, here we go. Hi. Bye. I said bye. I, I lied. I meant just stay right there. Oh, did he get... I guess he fell off. This guy fucked me up before, so I'm gonna go for him first, I think. Are you... God, the time they take to get up again is so f I'm dead. I can't do it. I've got no ammo. That's such bullshit. And I don't want to use the AK at this point. Because I know I'll need it later on. Oh, I was doing so well there as well. That's frustrating. Alright. Got a bit more ammo again at least. Flawless! Like I said. What the fuck? They're so relentless, it's unbelievable! No health here, just more fucking ammo. Which I guess I do need, but... I mean, there's no way I'm surviving this now. Yeah, because I'm just getting shot to fuck from different sides. Where's the guy? There was another guy here, where the fuck is he? Give me something. Give me something good. Give me heal. Yes! Oh, I love you. You're my favorite Russian ever. I love you more than... I don't know. I can't think of any other Russians. Are we going in here? I don't know. Let's just go in here. Stravutia? Speak English. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> Speak English. We couldn't What's afford to hire someone know. who speaks Russian. Terrible mistake. Find Anna. She has answers. Where is she? Locked up for protection. After that idiot Captain Lubensky hid in the cold storage. Now here, take this experimental. The bolts are chemically treated to distract them. It may 
Save your life. Oh god. Hi. Oh the fuck's sake, why didn't I shoot it in the cutscene? I don't want to shoot it now. Fuck off. Let's see what this spear gun can do. Okay, we got a spear gun. That is to, that is to distract them and nothing else. We got Zuboff's journal. We got his journal. Let's have a little read. I often wonder what really convinced Kamsky to work for me. The well-being of his beloved daughter or the first poor quality shots of the exercise I showed him. I recall his first encounter with the strange creature. He seemed both horrified and fascinated. However, when one was turned loose on a caged dog, it was his fascination that clearly got the upper hand. He immediately recognized the Exocell's tremendous potential, but ever the cunning negotiator claimed he no longer had the intellectual or physical resources to accept such an undertaking. He who has given so much to an army he persisted in referring to as Soviet. However, when I mentioned the amount of funding my partners were prepared to grant, I sensed he was not so weary. When I added that his daughter was already on her way to join him on the Star of Sakhalin, that was the end of it. He immediately agreed to stay on the platform and supervise the installation and research. As I expected, Kamsky quickly assured me the XSL had a military potential, but he feared it was uncontrollable. With Bakarov's help, I was initially very wary when the cartel imposed him on me, but he soon turned out to be a valuable asset. His first task was to develop an antidote. Protecting yourself from your own weapons is an old, often life-saving instinct. The first strains met with failure, but one of them produced unexpected results. The monsters were drawn to the gases given off. Barkarov was the one who built the first prototype of the compressed air spear gun. Obviously, the effect on the creatures is limited. Only those within a radius of less than 20 meters from the spear are attracted, and the effect is temporary. But the results are promising. I shall make the most of our last little trip to present the latest art version to the cartel. Given the latest advances, production of these devices would seem quite feasible. I hope that unlike the last consignment, the specimens will be ready and in good condition. Kamsu has been insistent about this. When I think that barely nine months ago, he was unwilling to experiment on humans. That Anna has a fury of a real Russian woman. In fact, I've been forced to lock her in one of the holds on the main deck. Code for the rear starboard deck is this. Code for the main deck hold with Anna is this. Excellent. Well, let's get out of here. I don't really know where I'm going. I know there's gonna be a shit show out here again when we get out here though, unfortunately for me. Okay, let's go. Holy shit! Go find the captain before the tub you're on capsizes. Yusupov said she had answers. I'd like to see her. Hanson, I'm trying to keep you alive here. But I'm gonna keep you oh, alive. God. Hanson oh. out. A lot of the way we're just having a conversation when these guys are just running at me. Well, that was not a good interaction there, but, uh... door over there looks promising. We haven't been in there yet. Just don't want to get hit by the burning crate. In oh, okay, immediately get hit by the burning crate. Go, 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 go! But I found it! Right? Let's try the door over this side instead. Okay, we got the code for this one at least. Excellent. For fuck's sake. Oh. Wow. That guy has absolutely no gag reflex whatsoever. My God. I mean, why are you surprised by that? We've already read a bunch of notes that said that was what was happening. It shouldn't be that shocking that the thing that was in all the notes we found is the thing that is in all the notes. A 
I don't like this. This room seems really fucking big. Am I here? I hear, I hear a bumpkin. <sighs> okay, I got heals. Right, the frame rate down here is shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go down the stairs for now. Everything's gonna be fine. I hear little Pete's. I hear little Pete's. Oh, hi guys. How's it going? Oh, it's a nest. Go, 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 go. At least take one of them out. What is attacking me? The babies. The babies are fucking everywhere. I've only got four shots left. Okay, I think I took out the nest at least. But, uh, I am in trouble. Probably gonna die. Oh, there's a health up here. How do I change gun? Don't know. I can't change gun. I can't change gun. Yeah, I'm dead. This is really hard. Like, th I should have played this on easy. I'm getting wrecked by enemies in this. Like, it's so easy to get completely gangbanged. And we haven't saved for ages again. I need to save a lot more with the special PlayStation because this is just killing me. Go up here, heal, 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 heal. <sighs> Where are the fucking things? There's more in here. There's more in here, I know there's more. Yeah, you. Fuck you. I think we did it this time. We took out the nest and we took out the fucking... I can't tell if that's enemies walking around or just like random shite going on, but we did it. Okay, I got the propeller shaft room. <laughs> Not quite sure what shooting that door did, but um... This looks like the wrong way. Okay, yeah, that does look like the wrong way. Where the fuck is the propeller shaft key? Maybe this door over here? Yeah, this is the one. Hmm. It's unlocked. Oh, I would love to save. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Ah, the good old shotgun. Oh, I've got a shotgun. Not bad. <laughs> Jesus. I hear bumpkins. I don't see bumpkins, but I hear bumpkins. Hi, you're a bumpkin. At least they're giving us quite a lot of health around here, at least. Does not sound good down there, really, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, that 
this little walkway across, lovely. Over there, is there one? Here they come. I love the way I completely fucked that up. I completely fucked all of this up, let's be honest. Alright, time to try the shotgun out, because I'm out of ammo, so, uh... Hi. Oh! Now that wasn't bad. However, this little shit is bad. Might die here, we'll see. Two bullets left. You gonna get out of his head? Yep, you are. Get fucked. Well, we're out of bullets, but we won. And there is health over here at least, so I can grab that and keep alive. Oh my god. Out of bullets again. Oh, thank fuck. This is. I'm just being kept alive at the moment by the pistol bullets I find on the fucking bodies. That is literally it. Because there's so many fucking enemies. Oh, what the fuck is this? I've never seen that before. Come on, roll out. That's right, get fucked. Give me ammo, give me ammo, give me ammo. Yes! Okay, we're alive. We're alive. And we got a hand wheel for the fish hold door. It's unlocked. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. I'm just shooting every electrical box. I don't know if that's a good idea. It feels like it probably isn't. But, um, I feel like I'm committed now, you know what I mean? I'm committed. Just gotta do it. Where are you, you little shits? Where are ya? Got, I need to get to the, like the cold rooms again, I think. I think. Oh, we're back down here. I know where we are. Oh, I know where we're going, in fact, as well. It must be up here. What we couldn't get in before. What the fuck? Did you guys see that shit? Oh, I'm fucked. I have nothing. I have nothing to fight with. I'm, I'm actually legit triggered by that. I've got to shoot this thing as it comes out of him, though. Otherwise, he's, it's going to get in the other one. Okay. Okay. We're good. We did it. We fucking did it. I'm so... Fuck. So angry. I guess you can preemptively stomp their heads, like, in Dead Space a bit. Like, we could probably start, like, preemptively killing them, maybe? Oh, great. Just fucking wonderful, really. Ah, uh, this... I keep picking up fucking spear gun ammo, and I'm like... I keep seeing the spears, I'm like, whoa! That's great! 
Yuspinov's journal. All right, let's read that, I guess. The cartel's growing impatient. The results promised by Kamsky's early reports are a long time coming, and yet we've installed new, fully re-equipped facilities. The additional scientists have been convinced to participate in research. Kamsky is becoming less cooperative. I get the impression he's hiding something from us, but I'm sure he would have mentioned any major breakthrough. No, it must be something more personal. When we carried out our initial experiments on monkeys, dogs, then whales, despite the dangers and the loss of some of Anischenko's mercenaries, I sensed Kamsky's enthusiasm through his lively discussions with Bakarev. Then we started on humans, of which the cartels seemed to have an inexhaustible supply. The first forced contamination was the toughest for Kamsky. After that, he gradually got used to it, and I would even be surprised at him at night observing the exocells. In any case, the cartel has no scruples about this. Their investments run to tens of millions of dollars. Bakarev's prototypes alone come in at $150,000 apiece. And so when Anischenko told me what he could have discovered by pirating Kamsky's laptop, I could have killed him. That's why I've taken Anna aside. She's the last ace up my sleeve, and I will kill her without the slightest hesitation. Seems like a really bad idea to kill the only ace up your sleeve without the slightest hesitation. Like, you know. I, I think there's only spear gun ammo in here, which is kind of shite. Out the fucking way. Stop being dead. God. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm dead. That's all they do. That's all, they, that's, that's all he says all the time. He just cries. Boo-hoo, I'm dead. Just making sure. Ammo for the AK, that's good. Nothing on him. Heal though is nice. We do with a bit more than that though. There's two heals in here. We'll leave that one because uh, we can always come back for it later on. Okay. I don't like any of the noises these things are making. I think this is the way we need to go. It's unlocked. Yeah. All of them drop the parasites though, look. It's annoying that they despawn so fucking quickly so you can't loot them all very easily, but hey, at least we made it through here. Oh, we can get to the armory from here. Let's do that. This is near the armory. I'm definitely gonna. Electrocute, electrocute him, electrocute him, electrocute him. That's right, that's what I fucking thought. Get fucked, dickhead. Oh, great. I'm waiting for it to flash again before I go. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of the electric water, okay? I'm scared. Don't get your nipples fried! Do not get your nipples fried. Of course there's someone here. Of course there's a fucking arsehole here. I can't stomp on him. And he's in the way. Well, I'm fucked. That's such bullshit. You can't stomp on them when they're on the fucking stairs. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Alright. I've got to be- I might- I might get lucky here, but I'm not sure. Okay. So this should be the medic room. Up these stairs, right? I think? I think there should be the med bay up here and the armory downstairs, and I can fill up on everything. Yeah, there is. We haven't been in the med bay yet. Let's go in the med bay and use one of the heals in here to heal up. You only have three in here, unfortunately. Watch how much I'm using. 
I ain't got an unlimited supply. Yeah, but we're not on this ship for the whole game, so I'm not that worried about it, dude. In fact, we'll be leaving this ship pretty soon. We're almost done with the ship section of the game. So, uh, just shut the fuck up and stop whining, alright? Thanks. Alright, thanks. Right, get ammo from the armory, which is unlimited, which is really fucking handy. Oh, yeah. We've got full ammo for all our guns. Oh, that's fucking sexy. Oh, my God. I'm so ex I'm just so moistened. Oh, my God. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, it's good level design that you actually keep coming back to these two areas, like, wherever you've been. Definitely gonna be more dickheads around here, though, unfortunately for me, so, uh... I think we have the code for this door now. It's unlocked. Yep, yeah, this is where Anna is. Well, we may as well save. You can't get too excited when you pick up ammo because then the ammo gets damaged by the moistness, you know what I mean? So that's obviously a bit of an issue. Okay, so like that that does kind of suck, but you know, what can you do about it? Hi Anna. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Tom Hansen. I'm a friend. Why should I believe you? Because I'm here and you're not dead. Ha, huh, funny. Where is Dimitri? Yusupov's dead. Good. The bastard deserved it. So can you tell me what the hell is going on here? He said you had some answers. He lied. I don't have answers. Then who does? Papa does. We can radio him. He will know what to do. Okay, we need to go back to the radio room. I've got to protect this- I've got to protect Anna from now on though, unfortunately. Which- I think you and I are linked, Hanson. We will both make it through this, or neither of us will. I Great. Vote for both. I don't think you- Got a letter from Anna. My dearest Anna, I've tried many times to write this letter, but I'm always, I always have failed. I want to tell you how sorry I am for the way in which my work has affected your life. Since your mother died, I've put you through hell, endless moving, harsh tutors, remote boarding schools. However, you know how much work means to me, especially since arrival at the Star of Sakhalin. I realize I've never given you a normal childhood, but trust me, I will give you an extraordinary life. I love you very much, Papa. Papa! I have a choice. Well, uh, you're not wrong there. I don't need the health kit. Let's go. We'll leave that health kit on the floor in case of emergencies. And by emergencies, I mean any normal encounter with enemies over the course of the game, by the looks of things. Hansen, I've got an idea on the girl. She's Victor Kamsky's We're literally standing right next to her. This is awkward. Her alive. Yes, I'm scientist. So? I'm telling you that she's valuable. Guard her with your life. I'll keep her alive. You'd better. If she dies, it's all over. If she dies, we get a game over. Because, of course, we do. And, of course, there's enemies here immediately. Why are sometimes the parasites popping out, and sometimes not? I'm guessing it's because the parasite has to actually animate- Well, we're not getting any more ammo. <laughs> but at least I filled up before that happened. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck me over, why don't you? Fuck me in the bum! Anna, what the fuck are you doing? She just booked it! Right into an enemy! You're gonna get us both killed, you stupid bitch! Jesus Christ. Look, she's injured now. Because she's a fucking moron. Why did she just run? Oh my god. I hate her. I hate her so much. Okay. Well, it's not far to the thing that we need to take her to, but she's gonna probably fucking die in the process because she's an idiot. Anna, if you fucking run ahead again, I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head, okay? Just so you know, alright? Oh, this is the wrong way. Fuck. Great, you're injured. Brilliant. Fucking wonderful. You're wearing far too many clothes for a 2000s horror protagonist as well. What the actual fuck is going on here? Oh, we got another save. That's good, at least, I guess. Right. 
Red deck. <laughs> Here's the radio room. Good. We can call the drilling platform my father works on. Star of Sakhalin, can you hear me? Anna, is that you? Kavel, what's happening? Where is my father? I'm sorry, he is missing. And this place. Don't come back, Anna. It's too dangerous. Hush, I am coming back and I'm bringing help. Then I will try to hold out until you return. Don't come. Come. He can't turn the ship. The autopilot is locked. Then unlock it. Good idea. I'll go find Lubensky. You stay here. Lock the doors. And here, put this on. What is it? It's a radio. It will let us keep in touch. I do not Just understand this newfangled technology. Okay, Hanson, here's the plan. You find the codes you need to unlock the autopilot. Point that thing at the oil rig Anna's talking about and get her father out of there. If we turn this thing broadside to the storm, the waves are going to swamp us. Then turn it fast. Your Coast Guard and her dad needs a rescue. Go rescue him. So for those of you who don't know, the second half of this game takes place on the oil rig and we're nearly done with the boat. I feel like this guy has spawned here every time we've been in this room. He definitely has. There's nothing. There's a lot of backtracking in this area, at least. Like, a lot of backtracking. Go through the fucking door! Thank you. There was, like, guys closing in on me, and he's like, actually, I think I should probably just spend some time thinking about what I'm doing here instead of actually doing anything. Oh, I fucking hate these things! They're impossible to fucking shoot! Oh great. Wonderful. Absolutely. Fuck off. All of you just fucking fuck off. Especially you on the stairs. I see ya. Fuck off. That's right. And you. Suck a dick. This is going well. A note about the pumping station. Maintenance work on the pumping system scheduled for December 14th has been moved back to December 18th due to delays in getting replacement filters. Since the risk of flooding is increased, you're advised against storing any munitions or weapons in rooms whose doors can be blocked by pressure. Anischenko. Okay, so I drained the water. Health is not looking too hot, though, is it? Hmm? It's unlocked. No, no fucking thing on the shotgun again. So you had to. You can't see shit. At least I can see movement. If I see movement, I'm gonna fucking shoot it, is the plan, okay? I think we might have won. It's very hard to tell. It's so dark! To have- it's so lame that this is the only fucking gun that can see anything in the dark. Okay, I know where we're going. We're going back to the main hold, I think. Like, the main, like, ice area from before, I'm pretty sure. Lots of backtracking through the same areas here, which is kind of lame, but, you know, it is what it is. Has ammo respawned here again? No, it's just a fucking spear gun. Taunting me, mocking me, ruining every moment of my life. Oh, 
All right, we haven't been to the door at the cor at the end of the corridor down here before, so we're gonna go all the way down here. This is one with the dead bodies hut hanging everywhere. Oh, my controller is vibrating like crazy here. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, we got another checkpoint. Excellent. All right, let's see what this scene is. This is gonna go badly. I've got a horrible feeling this will be a disaster. Hi guys, how's it going? Oh, they're all getting up, aren't they? Oh, they're all getting up. Oh no, there's like fucking 50 of the fuckers. Oh, this is really fucking bad. You know what I'm gonna do? Go, 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 go. I don't know where I'm going right now, but I'm just booking it and hoping that this pans out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that worked. I think that actually worked out. Oh shit, I didn't see this guy because it's too fucking dark again! No! My hell! My fucking hell! Oh god, I didn't. He didn't drop any health. It didn't drop. It didn't drop the help. Oh no. Oh no, where the fuck am I going? Okay. Alright. Maybe there's something in here. Okay, I found the captain. He's a corpsicle. Anyone got any bright ideas? Search the body. You got experience with that, right? Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. Please have health. Please. No. None of them have fucking health. Well, a page about munitions. I am on one hit to die here, guys. One hit and I'm fucking dead. One hit and I am just done. Well... This is, uh, this is not a good, a good place to be. Did not expect all these fuckers to get upwards again, but like, they fucking, of course they fucking did. Of course they fucking did. Let's read the document anyway. A page about munitions. One of the immediate effects of infestation by one of the more exocells is the host body, biological organization, and morphology begins to change to suit the parasite's needs. Subjects no longer require sleep, and their higher cerebral functions are reinforced. As their flesh is gradually devoured by the exocell, their skin changes color and strange bulges appear, which sometimes rip the skin. Infestation also triggers major physical modifications in the host, undoubtedly to better protect the host as their bodies become incredibly strong and resistant to damage. Similar to the mechanism observed in cancer, infestation entails a multiplication of cells in a spectacular increase in the volume of muscles. Mutation effects begin almost immediately upon infection. The first clinical signs of mutagenic change occur from within three minutes to just over two hours, with the average effects occurring after 26 minutes. One third of all subjects demonstrated an additional form of mutation. These specimens develop tendrils, mainly on the upper chest and on the shoulders and on the back of the neck. These tendrils appear to function independently of the body, to which they are attached, and to have their own center of locomotion. Upon dissection, they were found to contain sensory organs, primarily related to smell and hearing. In small, some specimens, these tendrils were rudimentary and barely reached one inch in length. In others, they were more fully developed, up to over a foot long. <laughs> that was a Subway sponsorship. Nothing on the frozen stiff except the keys to his quarters. I'll head there next. If the codes for the autopilot aren't on them, that's the best place to look. Just don't rush over there and get yourself killed. Thanks for the tip.
I don't really know where I'm going here, by the way. Let's try this room, I guess. If there's any enemies in here, I'm just dead. How did I survive? Stomp. Stomp him. Heal, please. Yes! Yes! I survived! I fucking did it! I did it! I survived! Yes! I'm delighted to inform you that Dr. Barak ever succeeded in producing an effective antidote. It is administered as soon as the infestation begins. Indeed, it only works if a tendril has not reached the victim's brain. According to Dr. Barakev, the antidote encourages the secretion of a particular enzyme along the spinal column that's lethal to the exocell. However, once the tendril gets into the victim's brain, the antidote is powerless. In parallel, Dr. Kamsky is researching how to limit the exocell's growth and thus block the tendril's development. Dr. Kamsky has assured me there will be significant results in the next three months, provided he receives new specimens. Okay. Oh, we're back up here. Holy shit. Oh, I know where to go now. I know where the room is. It's the room that I tried to take Anna to originally. I may as well grab a heal while I'm here because I'll be leaving this place soon. Hi. Wow, you went fucking miles, dude. Holy shit. <sighs> okay, we're full health again. And we still have one health pack there if we need it. Oh, what was in his room, actually? What was in his little, little hangout? Absolutely fucking nothing. He was just in here furiously masturbating. That was all he was doing. What a sicko. Well, I cannot see shit. I can't see shit. Jesus Christ. Fucking arsehole. Go. Go, 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 go. Let's read this, I guess. It's... Anna, I've got the code to unlock the autopilot. Go ahead. Three, te, five, L. Got that? It's working. I'm putting in the coordinates for the drilling platform now. Excellent. We came in through the wooden door, so let's leave through the metal Whoa, door. Anna, getting a little rough there. Hang on, I'll meet you at the pilot house. No, it's not safe. Look, the seas are too rough for us to dock with the oil rig, yes? What are you getting at? The only way we can get on board is to climb up to the crow's nest and then jump when we get close. Oh, crap. We're gonna hit the platform, aren't we? That will make jumping easier, won't it? You're out of your mind, woman! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wow, well, Tom, you're so likable. get yourself killed. Yeah, Anna. God. What are you, a woman? Disgusting. Can't believe there's a woman in my video game. I can't believe games in whatever year this came out, 2002 or whatever, are woke. Okay? Let's go. Listen, Hanson, I've got some bad news for you. Great. What Tom is Hansen is our name, I just realized. that oil rig for a while. It's got some sort of radio fuzzer on it. No transmissions in or out, except in a very tight window that we can't get into. Which means? Which means that until you take care of that jamming device, I won't be able to help you. I'm heartbroken. I'm serious. <laughs> the only way you get off that rig is if I help you, I can't help you unless I can talk to you. So once you get on board, you smash that jammer, you got it? Sorry, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Hanson, 
Hansen. Just kidding. <laughs> what the Smash fuck? Hammer. Got it. Hansen out. All right, bound to be some dickhead enemies around here. Oh, do you have any ammo, sir? I hear little Pete's. I hear Pete's. I hear Pete's. We have to go to the crow's nest, right? So it's probably up here. Oh no, there's Anna and about 700 men. Hansen, help me. That's right, Anna. Just walk really slowly away. It'll be fine. Oh, okay, that was a good kill on that guy. I think we won. Hi. I think I'm just gonna book it. She went up here. Let's just follow her. Hi. Oh, okay, this is not good. Probably gonna die. Hi. Book, 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 book it, 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 book it. Go, 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 go. You sure you want to do this? It's our only chance. How did I know you were gonna say that? <laughs> no way! She's totally gonna fall in love with us. Oh no! It's gonna get to his brain! Oh! Why is my throat so sore? God. That's a bit awkward. Get to safety roughly. God damn it. This shit is screwing my vision. If you get hit here, you're just dead, I just realized. Oh! Oh! That was so clutch! The power of Tom Hansen compelled me! What is this? I don't like this. I think I think things are working. I am one hit from fucking death here. Oh, we got health. Excellent. What is this? I can't, I don't know what it said, but something to do with cheese. Pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, I don't think I want to be in. Oh, armory! Hang on, hang on. Is there guns in here? Is this, is this, the, is this, is this our uh, auto refill room? 
It is. We can fill up all our guns. There we go. Very nice. Some ammo. Well, it's definitely worth it. Uh, this is a med red room, I'm pretty sure. Oh, another save point. Excellent. Stay back! I'm with Anna. You're alive. Good. There's only a little time to inject the antidote after. Oh, we're fine now. Okay. So now tell me whose life I just saved. You know Anna, yes? No. She's gone. I'm Tom Hansen, USCG. You bring terrible news. Did she tell you about this place at all? No. And yet you came here anyway. Then I must tell you. Kamsky, Anna's father, and I were sent here to study the exocells when they climbed up onto the platform. Maybe the drilling woke them up, eh? We were told to learn what they were and how to control them. But Kamsky went past that. He wanted to use them. And this is the result. It will kill us all. Where's this radio jammer I heard about? And it's Shenko. It kept it in the magnetic field room. You can't get in. It has retinal scanner locks. And only an Itchenko can open it. Then I guess I'll just have to ask him to open it for me. He'll kill you first. All right, it's a new day. In fact, it's a new week, and I am playing some Cold Fear off stream here for the full long play video. I've made some tweaks to the brightness settings here, which should make things a million times better to look at than they were previously. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I haven't really used the spear gun. Am I meant to be using it a lot? Do you think? I've got a note about a retinal scan. I need to remember the controls. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. The magnetic field control room is now off limits to all unauthorized personnel. The new security system in place incorporates a retinal scan lock. As of the moment, only Colonel Use Prof and myself are clear for entry. And it's Chenko. Wow, that's just rude. Oh, guess we're not going through there. I'm trying to remember the controls. It's going to take me a hot minute, I think. One of these doors should open at least. Well, I say that. That might actually be a massive lie. Come on, open. Damn thing stuck. Ah, uh, there we go. I know what I'm doing now, guys. I know what I'm doing. We're heading out onto the oil rig again. Hansen, one more thing. Hey. You need to. He's fine. Well, I said he was fine, and might actually be incorrect. Hang on, why is the flashlight not working? Do okay, there we go. Here's the electronic key. We've got the electronic storeroom key at least, isn't that excellent? I don't really know which way we're meant to go, but we'll just wing it. This looks promising. Although, promising is a strong word, actually. Hi! Oh, fuck. I had a real close-up there of it fucking drilling my brain. Did not need that. This could be useful. Oh, we got a shotgun again. That actually is useful. Whew. Hopefully we'll get the AK back soon as well, and then we'll just have everything back again from before. No kids? Anyone here? This does not seem like a safe place to be standing, I'm going to be honest with you. That's right. So oh god, that scared me.
Yeah, I want you to pick up the AK and not loot his body. Add it to the arsenal. Okay, excellent. Alright, we dealt with that one. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That was less nice and easy, especially as now I can't remember how to jump on their heads, but, uh... Uh, why did I do that when he was still alive? Jesus Christ, they fuck you up, those things. Hey, at least we made it to whatever this is. Good. Excellent. Well, this looks absolutely terrible. I saw you twerking. I might just destroy the heads of all these bodies in advance. I feel like it's actually a valid strategy, just like in Dead Space. You take out the heads, they can't come back here later on. I definitely hear a bad guy breathing though here. Probably gonna burst out one of these crates. Probably in this crate. I was correct. Could really do with you having a bit more ammunition. But yeah, if there's any problems with the lighting and stuff in the video, let me know, guys, because I'm experimenting with some new settings and stuff for the, the special PlayStation at the moment, you know? Currently very happy with how this looks though, it's way better than it did. Definitely better safe than sorry. Because if a fucking bunch of those little things get loose in the room, they're completely useless if we if they do that. Okay, alright, we're fine. I definitely hear something breathing down below again. The sound in this is actually pretty decent. Like, I appreciate it more when I'm not streaming. It's a bit easier to absorb. I haven't got the right weapon for this ammo. Okay, who cares? Just fucking take it anyway, right? Right, who cares? What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Handheld grenade launcher. A handheld grenade launcher? This must be what the ammo's for. Oh, yeah. Okay, handheld grenade launcher. I will say, I've liked the fact that the game has made me use every weapon. Usually in a game like this, you're too fucking scared to use the ammo for anything, except the, um... Oh, that's not sound good, does it? You doing alright down there, guys? I thought I was going to blow up. I was incorrect. But hey, his head blew up at least. Let's see if I can take some out from here, I guess. It'd be awesome if you get sniper rifle in this. I can't remember if you do or not. That went pretty well. We took out a bunch of them. I know I, I used ammo, but that's okay. That's what ammo's for. The problem is you can't see shit with the AK out, I just forgot about that. Hi there, sir. You guys could drop some really nice ammo for me. That was, that's good. I'll take it. I accept the pistol ammo. Is this the grenade launcher or the shotgun? I can't actually tell, which is a bit worrying. Because they all kind of look the same. <laughs> this is the shotgun. Okay, this is the shotgun. That must have been the grenade launcher. I think it's happening behind, I know.
music's like fucking freaking out in here. But hey, I think we did it. A little low on ammo though, which makes me a little concerned. I also don't like the fact I can't seem to access my my pistol from here now. I have to manually equip it because I've got more. I've got too many guns for the game. It's like, actually, I don't think you want to, you know, do that. How the fuck do I actually equip shit? Hang on, how do I, is there a way of doing? Okay, this is that's a problem. I don't think I can equip my fucking pistol, at least not easily. Regardless, I think we open this door over here as a way to progress. So let's head through here for now and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. I don't really like this game's method of saving. Like, if I wasn't using a special PlayStation, probably wouldn't like this at all. But, like, the way it saves, but it is what it is. I played this, like, on a, on a PC last time I played this. But the PC version's broken on Windows 10. But, uh, yeah, definitely better on console. Maybe the aiming isn't, but everything else is. What the hell is that? What the fuck are you talking about, Tom? Okay. Got my pistol back. Well, I didn't actually drop it. But, you know. What a lovely room this seems to be. Oh, I have a heal. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Anything else in here? A page from Dr. Kamsky's diary. Scientific classification to the XSL is impossible because we've never seen anything like it before. It's as if some alien creature had crawled up from the depths, or some prehistoric survivor of ages long gone has awoken for reasons yet unknown. DNA testing on the multiple specimens indicates certain similarities to various arthropods, but the link is tenuous at best. Traces of other DNA, including mammalian, have also been found, but the results have been maddeningly inconsistent. Bakarev has advanced the notion that there are merely some sort of deep-sea creature affected by the former government's practice of dumping its nuclear waste at a nearby deep-water site. Yuspinov takes such thoughts very seriously, and I've often found him examining maps of the area where he claims to be familiar, having spent part of his career there. Perhaps he knows things that I do not. What we do know is this. Exercises are perfectly adapted to underwater life, capable of resisting enormous and varying degrees of pressure, not like us are wretched humans. Okay, interesting enough, I guess. Let's get out of here. We've got full health. We killed the bumpkins. Hang on, are you alive? So you can scroll through all your guns, by the way, pretty easily here. Better safe than sorry. I don't want him coming after me. There was something out here. Yeah, you. Hi, fish boy. Oh, that's horrible. I can't see shit right now. Probably a death coming up here for me. Where is it? Seriously, where the fuck did it go? Might be a bad idea this, but you know, it is what it is. Got a health kit there, but I don't need to use it at the moment. Just gonna leave that one there. I physically cannot kill it with the ammo that I have. If there's more, we're in serious trouble here. Oh, 
That went pretty well in the end, I think, really. Grand scheme of things, you know. <laughs> I know I didn't get any ammo from the bodies, but that was funny as fuck. And I will accept it as my victory here. Jesus. Do need to remember, though, to backtrack if, uh, uh, to get that health if I need it, because, uh, probably need it. I said, how's it going? Of course you don't have any more ammunition. But you do get this, because I'm not having you come after me later on. You can, uh, suck on that. Let's go in here. I don't even know where I'm going right now, but still. Well, that doesn't sound good. not sound good. Hi. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's get the shit out of me, dude. Shotgun shells are actually very nice. Probably could be really useful against that enemy as well if we have to do kill it eventually. What the fuck is with this music? If the little bebbies are active when you come in a room, then they'll come out the heads again. But if they're not, they'll be like, oh well, no big deal. We won't bother coming out. Which is, it's, you know, infinitely preferable, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. This guy is totally going to get up, but I can't bend down far enough to shoot him, I don't think. Oh, maybe. And this one, I can see, I can see you doing your little wibbly wobs. God, the aiming in this is uh, is pretty broken. I can't get in from here. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh, there is. Say, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare go near that fucking body, you piece of fucking shit. And you, I see you twerking over there. Stop it. He was thinking about it. It was like, oh yeah, I've got to find another fucking body to jump into. What is this? I'm not entirely sure it said what that was, but we'll, we'll go with the AK for now anyway. Because it's quite a well lit area. That doesn't sound good. I'm just gonna run. God, there was loads of jump scares here. Holy shit! Get on the stairs, come on. You can do it, I believe in you. Oh shit, didn't realize this. Well, we're not going that way, but at least it wasn't the side of a fucking boat or some shit, I guess. Oh, hi. You guys could just die from being on fire. I'd really appreciate it. Like, I'm not trying to be mean. Okay, I'm kind of trying to be mean, but still, you know, if you could just burn, you know, that would be fucking excellent, you know? A note from Alice Chenko about Barakov. I actually have no idea who these people are. I can't remember anyone's names. 
I have no chance to check Varekev's details. Nothing leads us to conclude he is not what he claims to be. Dr. Kamsky has left me in the doubt as his scientific merit. Varekev is reputed to be an expert scientist. The fact that Varekev knows Kamsky's daughter is quite fortuitous. In the biotechnology field, it's well known that Varekev holds Dr. Kamsky in very high esteem. In this respect, he's not unlike many other specialists in the field. Varekev also did most of the recruiting of the additional scientists. His contacts with the cartel are indirect. Consequently, I do not believe there is a spy working for them. Please destroy after reading. Okay. I think we need to get into the control room over there, but I don't entirely know the best way of getting it. Can we drop down from up here? Oh, there's something up here anyway. Oh, more sp oh, yeah, that actually is probably useful. Now I've come across those super mutant fish things. In the grand scheme of things, it's probably, you know, for the best. This does not look like a safe place to drop down to. Oh, maybe if I go this way around, though, it will be. That looks better. That looks more promising. Do not like this camera angle, but, um... Basically, I've been playing Dino Crisis 3 with Chrism, and it's taken us a long time to get really anywhere, and it's so difficult, and, um... <sighs> Uh, any camera is better than Dino Crisis 3 camera. Like, this is, this has got its, 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 its fiddly bits, but nothing in it is terribly, like, completely broken or anything. Whereas in Dino Crisis 3, it's, like, unplayable. Hey, we've got out the fire, excellent. Can I use these? Damn thing's stuck. Oh, this one I can. Oh, it dispensed the health pack? That's interesting. You're fine. No big deal. Stop whinging. Oh, phew, it hurts a little bit. Ooh -woo. It hurts a teeny tiny bit. Ooh -woo. This is the door, I think, that we just uh, exposed. So let's go through there. This place has definitely seen better days, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, an MP5, it looks like. Very nice. I like my MP5s. I used to use them a lot in Counter-Strike. The old Counter-Strike, not Global Offenses. We're doing 1.6. We're talking pre-source, okay? Alright. I think we can just backtrack now to where we were. I don't think uh, this is that important at the moment. I think that was like a bonus item. The, I'm very happy to get it, to be honest with you, because it means that we're far less likely to die if we have another option. I do want to kill the fucking big, uh, big fish thing, but like I said, I, hadn't, I just didn't have the ammo. Alright, this area is going to suck, I've got a feeling. This way? Yeah, I did. I hear bumpkins. This room is definitely not safe. We can't go up the stairs there, so I think we just have to keep going back the way we came. Just gonna take it slow, because I don't trust us not to get jumped here by some bumpkin. Wow, anyone here? Alright, we're good. I wish it told you the name of each area as you go through everything. It would make keeping track of where you are a lot easier in the grand scheme of things. That's something that Dino Crisis 3 does do, actually, weirdly enough. Oh, it does. The upper... Oh my god, it says in the top right. I'm an idiot! It literally says in the corner of the screen where I fucking am.
Okay, we have the end of the fight. That guy's gonna get up again and start shooting the fuck out of me in a minute. Why don't I do that? I'll take it. Shotgun. That went surprisingly okay. The blast from the shotgun kind of saved the day there. Not sure I should have used. I haven't got the right weapon for this. There's another weapon I haven't got? I feel like I've got weapons coming up my ass at the moment, I'm gonna be honest with you. A note about a magnetic jammer. Jam? Oh my god. It's, it's a sign. What are you looking at here? You're looking at something. There's probably a gun in here, I'm gonna guess, as well. There's something... Oh, oh, here, 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 here. What, are, what is this it? This ought to heat things up. Oh, it's a flamethrower. Lovely. Did you, did you get the joke, though? He said, heat things up? Because... Because... Heat from the flames? Hmm? 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 Pretty good, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything else in here at the moment. We should probably read the uh, document though, right? About the magnetic jammer. Uh, it operates by emitting a continuously modulated spectrum of white noise on all radio frequencies. This prevents any interception of internal systems. The system will currently constantly scans for any signs of radar surveillance. When communication with the outside is deemed necessary and if the surveillance verification tests negative, a window is open and communication is enabled. Thus far, the Jax has proven to be perfectly efficient. Okay. Jax, huh? It's locked. Great, it's locked. Okay. Looks like it's like a magnetic lock or some shit, or a key card lock or something. Which is fine. Not a big deal. Right. I don't like the fact it's playing creepy music just when I'm walking around and stuff. I don't like it. I think like, it's, it's... It's just, it's just, it's just shitty. What's in here? Oh, well, I guess we're going here. I, I can't, I can never really tell if I'm selecting yes or no on this. I just hold sort of left on the thing and hope that everything works out. Because it's very, it's not very clear. I know there is like a, like, slight boldening of the font, but it's not great. Anyway, probably a scene I'm going to guess here. This looks fucking awful. I don't remember that. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I see. Go on here, maybe. It's gonna be spicy. I mean, for the most part, I see what we have to do, at least, here. We have to use the bridge's dips and twists to not get completely fucking wrecked. And not fall off at the same time, obviously. Coming back through here later on is going to suck, because I'm sure we're going to have to. This game is, like, one of the most backtracky games I think I've ever played. Although, not as backtracky as Dino Crisis 3. I will say that. Just giving me PTSD with its backtrackiness. Is that a, is that a, a, a saying? Backtrackiness? Whoa. 
the aiming in this class on top one side or so there. I do think the gore in this is really good, like the head splats. They're satisfying. Not the best I've seen. They're definitely up there. I think I may have got them all. Let's not run around with the grenade launcher out. Let's run around with the shotgun out. Yeah, that seems a much better choice. Just for like my my general survival, I mean. No. Didn't take much damage there either. Oh, ammo as well. Excellent. Oh, whoa. Oh, I am fucked here. Holy shit, run away. Woo! Zigzag! Zigzag! Like, holy shit. They fucked me up. I mean, it's true, I killed them. Alright, that's that guy's head gone pop. I am very low on health, though. Ten bullets left in the AK. I saw him. Alright, let's hope I can find some fucking help. On these shelves. There was ammo. So maybe there'll be help? Definitely another enemy at least in here. Maybe more than one. music's like, oh my god, this is so exciting. Hey! Now that's what I wanted. Hi! Sir? Look, bless his heart, he did his best, alright? He was doing his best for a little roll, and yeah, he got fucked up, but it doesn't really matter that much. Because, you know, he's an idiot. Oh shit, who the fuck are you? When he comes through the door, fire! Where did they come from? I don't know behind me. I think everyone's in front of me. Yeah. This is the guy whose eye I think I might need, by the way. I'm not going to pick up the health kit right now. Because I can, I can use it for a much better heal if I get completely fucked. Jesus. Alright, maybe I do need to heal up earlier. Oh, they blew the barrel up behind me. That's one where I got fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill me. Maybe one left. Could be a few more. Definitely more than one. You could get out from behind that box. That'd be really fucking great. Enjoy that. I was gonna say he's not dead. Jesus, that was a fucking bloodbath. Holy shit. I loved it. I better keep Anashenko's eye from getting squished. So we need that for the rat in the lock, I guess. That was pretty fun. 
music is still going. I don't really like that very much. It makes you think something else is going to happen. But at least we can, you know, fuel up on uh, ammunition here and shit. There's a health kit there too. Excellent. Look at the bullet holes through my character, by the way. It's fucking insane. Like, absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh shit, another save? Oh, it makes sense because we're going back across the, the Nightmare Bridge. I'm guessing though it's a one-hit kill if you get hit by those things, so you know. Oh, there's enemies now. Excellent. Well, I'm just gonna wait. Like, you, you might as well just walk into that. Okay. The aiming is broken in this area because of the weather, by the way. That's one of the big problems here. That's right. You're so fucking good. You guess some of you have uh, shotgun shells. You did not. This is fine. Hi. You know what? Fuck you. Why would I fucking fight you? Why would I fight you in this instance? Okay, this is bad. Uh, that could have been a lot worse, actually. Baby's gonna roll out of this one. Yeah. And this one? Gonna roll, do a little roly poly? Oh no! But again, this room's been pretty easy. It looks menacing, but it's not that difficult. Hi. don't need that heal still. I'm going to save that heal there still. Although I don't know what I'm coming back here, so... Ah, uh, the door in here must be for the retina scanner. Eyes only clearance, I guess. There you go. Funny, funny, funny. These guys fucked me up there. Didn't mean to waste flamethrower ammo, but I did anyway. Definitely more bumpkins in here. Hey, at least I have a reason to get a health kit after this. None of them had ammunition. Are you fucking shitting me? After all that fight. After getting my ass eviscerated. I got no. Wow, this is worth it. Got a magnetic. In fact, so these guys were just hiding in here. How did they get in without his eye? Security reasons: three generators are used to maintain the system's operational status. One generator connected the platform's main power grid, and two standalone generators. Even in the event of a general failure, the jammer thus remains functional. The system will fail to operate only if all three generators are disconnected or destroyed. Well, 
Looks like we need to do that. Room, so I should just take advantage of that. That's why I'm using the blimp over here. All right, that's the first generator down. Bennett, you out there? I can hear you. Give me your situation. I'm all right, but Anna's missing. Sorry about the girl, but there's bigger things to worry about. I need you to find Kamsky's notes. Our best guess is that they're on his laptop. Find those notes and upload them. With his data, we can make sure this never happens again. But what about Anna? Fine. Head to the main security room. It's a good place to start looking for those notes, and you might be able to spot your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that's right, Hanson. You get your girlfriend shot, not eaten by monsters. Back off, Bennett. Whatever you say. This is like some fucking school shit. What the fuck? She's not my girlfriend, bro. Oh, it already got another save. The saves can be really lenient in this, but other times they can be really bullshit. Like, there's no middle ground. It's like, they're either like half an hour apart or three minutes apart. It's like, it's ridiculous. Oh shit. Oh, is this going to be her daddy, Kins? Daddy! You saved me, daddy! <laughs> Someday, I promise, you will understand. Yeah, this is her dad, 100%. It's going to make her grow a family-friendly pair of tentacles, too. Oh, God! Time limit. I couldn't handle it right now. Hanson, talk to me. I'm here. Have you located the notes? Screw the notes. Those things just infected Anna. Don't do anything stupid, Hanson. There's nothing you can do. There's an antidote. I can still save her. An antidote? Fine. If you think you've got a shot, go for it. The notes can wait. For now. Auto defense system activated. Unauthorized area clear. Doors unlocked. Yeah, computer, I fucking outwitted you. Here's the electronic key. Okay, so that's I know where that I know where that goes. Okay. Alright. We just saved. There should be a heal out here. And then we can just head. I should probably stop using the flamethrower, because I can't get ammo from enemies if if that's the case. If I'm using that. I don't really have anything else though in terms of ammo. I oh, have pistol. Alright. We're just gonna book it. Oh no we're not. Get fucked. I just realized I've got to fight this thing and I have no fucking health. Or anything. I'm so fucked. I'm just gonna win. We're just gonna we're just gonna hoof it, okay? I'm just gonna assume that nothing bad's gonna happen, alright? Go. Oh, another save already? I'll take it. Go! <laughs> Still am I? Anything else on you? Oh, a page from Dr. Kamsky's diary. Very nice. I definitely don't want to risk anything coming back. It's just not worth getting absolutely wrecked. 
Why are his diary pages just like strewn around by the way? Certain specimens are manifested in the form of asymmetrical development. In these cases, the XSL produce mutations that were particularly resilient, powerful, and aggressive. Their skins grow so thick and resistant that they become impervious to the hardest blows and to gunfire. However, certain body parts of individuals who have undergone this type of mutation continue to react normally to wounds. This mostly concerns the upper limbs, which become particularly developed. Repeated blows to these body parts will be shown to be fatal. In addition, these specimens react strangely to bait spears. They become hysterical and seek to destroy them at all costs. I guess that's a clue on how to deal with a certain situation that we're probably going to be forced to deal with very shortly. So is this an elevator? Great, it's locked. Oh, about this. Vending machines might mean health. The damn thing's stuck. Definitely means there's splooge. I can hear something splooging. A lot of the time, what I thought were little peeps, by the way, I think it's just the fucking environmental sounds. <sighs> oh, yeah, I really need that. Okay, good. Got some health back. There's lots of fucking explosive barrels in here, which leads me to believe when I come back through here, which I inevitably will because this game is like full of that sort of stuff, um, there's going to be a ton of enemies, but I guess not for now there's not. Oh wow, this... Oh my god. I did not... I don't, I have, I don't, I don't remember this fleshy shit being everywhere, but that's actually kind of cool. Oh, hello? horrible. Very horrible. Be nice if we got some more flamethrower ammo around here. Uh, okay. promising. I can't see shit, but I'm going to assume this is the way out after I got my ass handed to me here. 
I think I did it. Not an ideal situation, but I'll take it. What's in here? Alright, don't want to be in here yet, I don't think. Underwater elevator sounds generally bad. Like, it's not my list of places I'd like to be. Just underwater anything, though, sounds bad to me, I will say that. So, you know, that is a personal thing. What about this? What's this? This looks like a nice room. I have no fucking anything to defend myself. Look, I have nothing. I have three grenades, and that is it. That's hell. I've got pistol ammo. Oh, thank fuck. I mean, it's not it's not amazing, but it's better than what I had. Seven bullets. Seven whole bullets. Oh. Oh, yeah. Latch it into my fucking veins. He's gonna get up, but... Okay, listen guys. Okay. Not ideal. But I didn't get wrecked, and I got ammo from both of them. Got a memo to Uspinov. I guess we should probably read this. Uh, all drilling operations have ceased. The laboratory facilities are now operational and have been equipped according to Dr. Kamsky's instructions. Confinement cells, decontamination chambers, scanners, and scanning electron microscopes. The first specimens are on board, and the 20 scientists I've recruited at your request will be here on Thursday. And as Chanko has enabled the communication jamming system, and all those drilling crew members have been evacuated. Those who are at the presence of exocells have been dealt with separately. Work can now get underway. I think that's pretty... That's pretty, that sounds pretty normal, probably, right? They've been dealt with. They've probably been, like, treated to a little vacation somewhere, somewhere to go and chill out, you know. Alright, we're gonna just check out all the rooms around here for some general exploration. If it's unlocked, we're gonna explore it, because I desperately need more ammo and more... Basically everything, really. There's probably going to be enemies in all of these, but hopefully I can deal with them with a pistol. This doesn't sound good, to be honest with you. Hi. Hang on. Hang on, there's a guy that was having a shit? Oh, I'm, I am in trouble here. Oh, this room's brutal! What do I fuck- well, I haven't saved for ages, so I'm in trouble. I'm fucked here, guys. I say ages. Wow, this room is a death trap! I didn't expect the fucking toilets to be such a popular hangout! Well, I cleared this room out. That was a bloodbath, but there was nothing really in it, and I've only got- Minimal ammo left now, which is not good. Don't think that was particularly worth it, but and maybe later on there's a vent in there, but I guess maybe we're gonna go through at some point. Great, it's locked. That's the elevator. Oh god, I think forgetting those things can give birth to countless fucking shits. That's where he came from into here, right as well. I kinda wanna look upstairs, I'm gonna just sprint past this thing and hope for the best. Definitely had a baby. Definitely had a baby. What's up here? Anything worthwhile is the question. My controller is vibrating a great deal. Okay, this is probably worth it. Okay, definitely. Get off the body, fuck. 
Oh my god. I thought I was genuinely completely stuck there for a minute on the corpse. You know what would be really good? Some fucking health game. Where's my control? Oh god! Kill it. Alright, that actually went really well. That's why it was uh, freaking out, by the way, because it could apparently could detect there was an enemy in the room. This... I can keep going. This is not the way to go, by the way. The underwater elevator is, but... so I can't jump on it, which is so stupid. Oh my god. Are you... Are you... Okay. Alright, let him get really far away. Suck the fucking dick. If there's nothing in here, I am in... The damn thing's stuck. In serious trouble. Oh, there was a health pack in the fridge. I'll take it. This is the freezer. It's probably really bad in here. Oh my god. I cannot see anything in this room. Is there anything in this room that's worthwhile? Ah, a report about contamination. So there's a few things here. And more ammo. Okay, not too bad. Alright, I think that's going to be it for my exploration here. I don't really want to drop down that hole anymore. Let's just get the fuck out of here and hope for the best, okay? It's going to be enemies in the way on the stairway down here, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. How many do you think? Maybe just the one. If I'm lucky, it's just the one. And this should be the way to go, into the elevator. I think this is an elevator. Definitely looks like it. This is pretty cool. It's like the top secret underground military la- Oh, the grass, glass, the glass. The glass is cracking and also there's something here that's invisible. Excellent. Okay. You're not so tough. You're nowhere near as tough as the fish thing that fucking fucked me up for 20 minutes. This looks really bad. I don't remember any of this in this game. I mean, he's gonna break out, right? Sit down, both of you. Oh, don't mind if I do, actually. I'm shocking, am I? Very nice. What did you have on you? 
Ammo for the fine. So we got some good shit from these two guys. Holy shit. Excellent. Supplies that we actually need. Fantastic news. Oh no. It doesn't sound numb down there though. Oh, we got a note. A page about experiments. Let's pause our game and read about experiments while all this goes on. We've observed that electrical discharges have no effect on the XSL's neural network. However, once the XSL has taken control of a body, both the XSL and its host are vulnerable to any source of electricity. In fact, prolonged exposure to a strong electric current results in death. As a precaution, we've electrified the floors in the experimental chamber. This system is only to be used in case of extreme emergency. I want to read about contamination too. One of the reasons the exercells may previously escape detection is they demonstrate an occasional ability to blend in with their environment. At least one test subject, we managed to amplify the phenomenon after blocking the contamination process and extracting the exocell. The subject quite literally became invisible, whereas infrared enhanced viewing clearly confirmed its presence. Otherwise, only a faint ripple or disturbance could be seen when it moved. What fantastic uses could be made of this? Exocell behavior is quite simplistic. The extremity of their tendril is lined with millimetric fangs that sink into the victim's skin. The exocell uses them to pump the victim's blood, thereby weakening him. This renders the victim vulnerable to contamination since exocells are only able to infest a host that is either weak or unconscious. Afterward, they enter the body through the mouth. In some cases, they've been observed infesting dead bodies, though this activity seems to be limited to corpses that have not suffered significant structural damage or undergone extensive decomposition. Contaminated human hosts, alive or dead, are immediately driven by the exocell's urge to seek and destroy warm-blooded life. This serves two purposes. It feeds the exocell's hosts who frequently engage in acts of cannibalism and provides new potential hosts for other exocells. The mutations induced on their hosts require tremendous amounts of protein, which means the hosts are constantly seeking fresh prey. The secondary phase of exocell life, which we now call the tumorous phase, in which the exocells become breeders, is extraordinarily difficult to destroy, even through condemned to immobility. Only fire can effectively destroy these forms of exocell. The breeder produces contaminators at a still undetermined rate. The link between the contaminators and their breeders remains a mystery, though it seems to be contaminator will fight to the death to protect its parent. Okay, so we've come across those already, and we need to burn them, as we know. We already burned one, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Is denied. Damn. You guys having fun down there? Just having a great time. I'm just keeping an eye out for invisible ones, you know. Like, there's literally nothing I trust in this place at this point in time. Hi. See? I told you I didn't trust you, you fuck. Hi. Fucking gun! That's fucking cheating. Hi. That's much more like it. Stick with the knife. You're doing great with it, kid, alright? You're doing great, kid. Health kit. May as well grab that, actually. I'm not doing too great. And that topped me up full, which is excellent. Some more shotgun shells. The shotgun is really fucking good in this game. It really feels like most of the basic enemies can't do a lot against it. Dr. Kamsky's lab. Oh shit. What are these? I'm fully loaded with this ammo. I guess they're grenades. It looks like grenades. Administer the ant. Oh, we found the antidote. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. You having fun there, sir? Could be a parasite coming out. Yeah, that was kind of fun anyway. Okay, um... Another note here. Dr. Kamsky's diary. Let's have a look. I can't help think that these creatures have great potential. If we could learn how to reproduce and harness the way they alter their host, the results could be decisive. Use 
Yusuf Pulver wants me to create beasts, things that could be used to kill. He fails to see how we could use the exocells to improve life. Nevertheless, he has Anna, and thus I'm forced to obey, at least for now. I've been merging exocells with subjects. Yusuf Pulver has forced me to amuse humans lately, and they're trying to guide the mutations that result. I've made some monsters for Yusuf Pulver. Let us see what we can make for myself. And we know, well, we know what he's made to himself into, because he's one of those fucking things. And we saw. I'll double check around the room for ammo, but I think that's what we came down here for, is the antidote, right? We've got to go back, all the way back up now to Anna, though, unfortunately for us. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Doing a lot worse. Oh. See, it's been ages since the save point this time. Like, I think we were on the deck sort of like uh with the lasers last time we had a save so it really is really inconsistent oh this was not here before Code for the experimental chamber PC. Oh, we, we're, we, that's just around the corner from here. I guess we're going to need to use it. I guess it just is added to our journal. Thanks, game. Gonna run. Probably never gonna be back here again. Oh, fuck me. No rush, dude. That scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. He didn't really do anything though, he just sort of looked at me a bit. Hi! Okay, put that- put it down! Motherfucker. Alright, now we have the code for this. What do you know? Access grant. Wow. I'm really glad that ran out before I fell down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. Is there anything worth looting in here? Like most of them don't look, don't look too hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie. Okay. I mean that was pretty cool. <sighs> Let's reload all the guns. I don't trust anything that's about to happen here. We've got a fully loaded flamethrower. Oh, there's a heal here too. No, that's that's what I'm fucking talking about. The damn thing's stuck. In here? Can we it's go? unlocked. Yay! Sound good, does it? Hi. Oh, it's, a, it's one of the flying ones. It's one of the crawly ones. I cannot see anything right now. Where'd it go? Did I kill it? Oh, I think I did. Maybe? He's like begging me to kill him. He's not dead. In fact, he's just mounting me repeatedly. These things fucking suck. I have not- I've yet to kill one. They suck so much, and this lighting effect is so obnoxious. No, it's definitely alive. How? Where? I hate these so much, and they're gonna fucking kill me again for like the billion fucking times. Oh, 
Where are you? Where are you? Let me kill at least one of you. How? How do you do this? I hate you so much, you fuck! You absolute fuck! I think I killed it. I think I killed it. It took many tries, but I think I killed it. Holy shit. That thing is awful. Like, they're so dangerous. I had to use all my spear gun ammo just to keep it away from me so I could just keep shooting it with the shotgun. It seemed to be a valid strategy, though, at least, in, kill in terms of killing it. Alright, so now we can get into that room over there, I'm guessing. This was uh, an intense little room. Hey, get fucked. I don't know if this is going to do the water again. So I'm going to get out as quickly as possible. I'm not going to bother risking searching the bodies right now. Nothing with this. This looks like something maybe... Ah, oh, oh my god, this. Oh, another save. Interesting. That section was pretty tough, so I guess that's a good point to have a save. Like, this isn't, like, the hardest game ever or anything. It's just, like... I don't know. I feel like the pacing is just really, 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 really weird and off. Is the best way I can describe it, you know? Like, I've played a lot worse. Don't get me wrong, I've played a lot worse, you know? this. Oh shit, this is an elevator. Hostile life form detected in a high oh, security. Oh fuck. Area. Oh. Begin evacuation protocol B. Repeat. Begin evacuation plan B. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Area clear. Doors unlocked. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Oh. Hi. One of the holding cells has been what am I meant to be using against these? I can't fucking remember. If in doubt, burn it, right? I didn't have any bullets. Yeah, I don't have any bullets for a boss fight, which is kind of like, wait, why don't they give you some? Am I meant to fight it? I don't think I can do this. I have no bullets. I have nothing. Can I leave? I don't think I can because we're locked in, right? I might be in real trouble here, guys, because I genuinely don't know where I'm going to get more ammunition from to be able to get through this. It's blocked off. Alright, so I haven't triggered the fight with the big guy yet, because I have no ammo. Well, I have some. I have more than I did, but I don't know if I have enough to kill him. 
I was hoping that some that something would be in here, but it looks like all these rooms are kind of like a fucking a wash, really, which is really sucks because they should give you ammo before a big fight, and I just don't have any. Like I have seven shotgun shells, which is more than I had because I've replayed the bit and used the flamethrower. I'm thinking that the flamethrower is useless on him, and you've got to destroy his arm, and I just can't seem to destroy it with what I've got. I'm hoping that if I try some of the doors around here. I'll get so but everything in here gave nothing. Give me a scientific report that I don't give a fuck about, and a bunch of fucking bollocks that I don't give a fuck about. It doesn't trigger until you go down the like the corridor that has like an extra thing. So I'm hoping one of these doors will lead to something with ammo, but I don't know what else to do. Like it's kind of a shitty situation for the game to uh to place you in. The damn thing's stuck. Uh, we killed the bumpkins at least, but the damn thing stuck. Again though, there's nothing in here except a note, which, you know, great. I love notes, I love reading notes, we'll read them in a minute, but what I really need the damn thing stuck. is the ability to, uh, you know, get some fucking ammo from, from one of these rooms. Ideally, a shitload of it, because this thing is really fucking strong. I should have. I I need to just play games on easy from now on, just permanently. No, no more normal. It's it's way too stressful. All right, that door over there is what triggers it. If we go over here, it'll trigger. Can I go in here? The damn thing's stuck. No, and this goes back to the other way. I guess I could backtrack this way, right? I can, and try and get ammo from elsewhere in the base first, but that seems a bit. Oh shit, this isn't what I thought it was. What the fuck is this? I should have killed them normally. But at least I know they're here now. Alright, so this goes out here to like a bridge area. Potentially where I could go to go and get some more shit, you know? Alright. We'll see what happens anyway. I'm going to try a few more times on the boss. The problem is, it's almost impossible to avoid his attacks. And I, okay, okay. I hit him once, it's, that's not okay. I, it's ridiculous that it's that hard to hit him as well. Oh my god! I got him! I fucking got him! I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. That took so much effort, it's actually insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm so glad. I had enough ammo to beat him. That was a borderline soft lock, but it was very close um, to being the end of this run. But we did it, so I can't complain too much. I've only got pistol bullets at the moment now, which is not a good situation to be in. The problem is the pistol's so shite against everything else in the game. Except the, uh, the basic dudes, you know? Nothing? Not gonna search the body? Excellent. It's gonna run, because I cannot risk fighting these at the moment. Actually, I can, because I've got a flamethrower, I just realised. Uh, excuse me? That went through the fire! We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run past all these fucks. Oh man, can I shoot those yellow bells? No, I don't think I can. I, oh, I mean, if they do, it doesn't really do much except reveal the thing, right? Anything else here? Yeah, you. Yellow steam valves, no. Okay, I've got to get out of here in one piece now. Run. Go, 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 go. Alright, now I want to save. Fuck me. Fuck me, this section's been really difficult. This game is really hard. Not just like slightly hard, the, the challenge is insane. 
Oh God, this is just normal. Jesus. Oh, well, at least we found Anna. I'm sorry, Anna. So this is it, Tom. Two patients, one cure. I thought you'd been vaccinated already. a deal. I get those notes. You take care of Anna. Get her out of here. You play hardball, Hanson, but you got a deal. Right. I'm on my way. Jesus Christ. What even just happened? Where is she gone? I, I'm, I'm not following what is going on at all here. I mean, there's nothing new with that, to be fair, but uh, regardless. to get away that my character's like, nah, I don't think I'll run. Why would I run? Run's for losers. All right. We've already cleared out the side labs here, so let's have a read of our documents, I guess. And then... I don't really know where to go from there, to be honest with you. Does it translate when I hover over these? No, of course it doesn't. Excellent. Wonderful. Fantastic. I love it. Alright, let's read these. We've got a scientific log. Control subject Kardinov was sedated, then deliberately infected, forced ingestion, received no antidote, showed first signs of metamorphosis within 20 minutes, base symptoms of metamorphosis complete within two hours. Symptoms increase muscle mass regeneration and tissue after injury, modification of internal organs, excessive hunger for protein. All right, this one. No contamination, received 20 mils of sodium side effect, mild thoracic skin rash. Killed himself by repeatedly bashing against the buzz of his cell once infected. Subject was sedated, then contaminated by forced ingestion, received 20 mils of serum 89B, visible mutations after 40 minutes, but did not continue along expected track. Mutation continued in an asymmetrical pattern, causing disproportionate development of the upper left limb. The contaminating agent seems to have infected the limb and multiplied within it. Subject's entire body showed great resistance, including exposure to fire. Only left limb showed any signs of vulnerability. Subject destroyed, that's what we just thought. Subject was injected with 20 milliliters of serum, then put down. Subject was inje injected, infected posthumously. Exercise demonstrates ability to revive corpses. Otherwise in good condition, serum has no apparent effect. Subject was sedated, then contaminated by forced ingestion. Onset of mutation was delayed for nine hours. Symptoms increased muscle mass, aggression, improved regenerative properties, pigmentation, alteration of skin and eyes, reduced higher brain activity, especially cognitive functions. Dissection revealed the tendril and spinal column. This could be a breakthrough we're looking for. All right. Oh god, these are long. There are two main phases to the exocell life cycle, reproduction and contamination. To reproduce, the exocell transforms itself into what we now call breeders. Stationary organic structures are potentially considerable size, basically shapeless and particularly repulsive in appearance. When the exocells enter this phase, they find a safe, isolated location, usually high up, attach themselves firmly to it with their tendrils and immediately start growing. The breeder starts hatching out new contaminators within 24 hours through asexual budding process. Contaminators are small, fast, and highly mobile. When attacked, they curl up into what we call a fetal position, exposing a hard external shell, but what is quite soft and rubbable on the inside. The mission is to find a host, infect it parasitically, then feed on it from the inside. It may need to repeat the process several times, that eventually this produces an adult, mature exocer, ready to settle down as a breeder and start producing more contaminators. Physically speaking, Contaminators are weak. As a result, they can only contaminate dead, dying, or weakened hosts. Healthy, strong organisms can easily fight them off. That explains why hungry exocells seek to weaken their prey before contaminating it. Once the exocell has integrate, integrated its host and up to seven can share a single host, it effectively takes control of it by sending tendrils up to the host's brain. Thus, permanently eliminating the infected host, its brain must be destroyed. In fact, the host's other body parts are all but indestructible. Muscle mass increases at spectacular rate and bruised of injured tissues heals almost immediately. Professor Nikolai Kastanov explained during our last encounter this process requires large amounts of protein. 
human protein is naturally preferred since it will be building human cells. As a precaution, the contaminators also shut down their host's higher brain functions, essentially switching off the host's personality. The body is left to defend for itself and find food. Moreover, it seems that during a more advanced stage in the mutation process, the contaminators reactivate certain functions of their host's intellectual functions, turning them into their advantage to perceive space, use tools, and even devise and communicate strategies. One of the main benefits of this is to facilitate the search for new potential hosts by attacking, wounding, and killing other healthy humans. It's just so fucking long. As indicated above, even bodies that are dead but in otherwise good condition can be reanimated by exocells, which energize the host's nervous and muscular systems. The tendril in the brain turns the corpse into an extension of the exocell's body in a sort of monstrous symbiosis. Bodies frozen for months or even years could conceivably be used in this fashion by the contaminators. At a certain stage of the mutation, which varies accordingly to individual hosts, the process is reversed. The contaminators escape from the host body, which enters a state of rapid putrefaction. The same occurs when exocells forcibly extracted from a body, usually by destroying the host's brain or burning it. Whilst we are learning more and more each day, our results are already highly promising. Obviously, the next stage is to control the whole process to obtain what we are all striving for. We remain confident. Victor. Major, well, I appreciate the fact your men have effectively ceased ventilating the red fuel pipes. I'm now disappointed that they've now turned their targets on the yellow ones. They are, if anything, even more dangerous and troublesome to repair. I realise the labour costs are not an issue. However, I prefer our men to serve their interests of Kamsky's experiments rather than being burnt to death by jets of hot vapour. Furthermore, the scientists run the risk of an accident at any point. Okay. We now need to go to that bridge control room that we found, but I can't remember where it is. Not here. We've already been here. I think... Do I have flamethrower for you? I have a full flamethrower. I think I'll be alright using that to, uh... to burn uh, the guys out here. Wrong room again? Oh my god. We'll get there in the end. Everything looks the fucking same in this place. Like, this game's not bad, it's just got some really frustrating design decisions at times. The damn thing's stuck. I guess this is the- was this- was this the bridge? This big one? I think this is the elevator, right? Please. No, this is it. So we just fuck right off. I think we can now go across the bridge though if we activate it. Seems a little bit risky, but uh, I'm gonna risk it. For several biscuits. <laughs> Holy shit! I did not have the ammo to kill him. So I was really fucking lucky there, Jesus Christ. You know what would be great, right? If I could find the fucking, um... Door? Oh my god, it is. Um... Uh, if I could find the, the ammo, the armory again. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is the way I went before. And this goes to the armory, from what I recall. The armory should be this way, actually. I should be able to get full everything here. Yeah, I'm fine. I need fucking health as well. 
What's in here? I actually don't know. I need to check everywhere here. This is the armory. Like suck, suck a dick, dude. Right, let's use this to fill up. So everything should be now full. Okay, we're in the best position we've been in a while in terms of ammunition. Probably since I actually last used this room, I'm gonna be honest with you. So that's good news. Now the question is, is there any fucking heals around here as well? There should be a sick bay actually, right? With it in. Like here, this should be the sick bay, the medical unit. Yeah. Yeah. Full health, full ammo. Much better position than we were a minute ago. We got through it though, we got through it. So I think we just now had to backtrack exactly where I was before, which kind of sucks because this game has way too much backtracking as it is. Someone's going to jump up. Maybe a big boy. I could just hoop it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk it. Hi. Hi. I may regret doing that, but for now... I regret doing it. Bye. Oh, what the fuck is this? This is new. I do not like that effect. I can't get under here, right? Oh, I can! That's surprising. The annoying guy is gonna be here still. Like, if, yeah, you. I say, is it immediately get mounted? Seconds. Seconds. Gonna... I was gonna say I'm just gonna ignore you, but the game is not gonna let me, I don't think. Book it. Run! Oh my god, you fuck! You fuck, get your resistance back. Go! 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 Jesus Christ. I think this is the right way to go. I don't fucking know anymore. Backtracking. Yeah, this is just the same shit we just did all over again. This room is the room that was full of barrels before, so it's definitely going to be horrible now. Oh, oh shit.
Death box. Alright, I guess that could have been a lot worse than it was. Oh my god. I think we have to go down here again here, which kind of sucks. risk it. Lost a lot of health there. I'm gonna burn this fucking thing in here because it's gonna keep spawning fucking shit, whatever I do. So let's take it out so we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, I think I'm, I don't know if I missed, I hope I haven't missed anything. So we have this door here. We need to get into the science personnel storm, right? And to do that, I think we need to go through the vent. But I don't know if I've got anything to open the vent with, because I wasn't paying attention if I picked up an item. Must be a way to get from this room into the science personnel Oh, it's open now. Someone, some, some drag, someone dragged it. The jam. Here we go, it's all open now. Progress, everyone. Before I open that up, I want to see if there's any health in here, because I really need some. A letter from Kamsky to Anna. Well, I'll read that in a second. More importantly, I need some fucking health, alright? Because I got, I got a bit wrecked a few times, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not too worried. Like, we're doing alright for ammo and stuff still. But I could do with... A really nice, delicious chunk of, uh, of health. Sir, you probably have some, right? Yeah? No, you don't. Of course you fucking don't. Dickhead. You have some, sir, right? No, you don't. Great. Well, wonderful. Well... <sighs> Time to use this laptop, I guess. I found Kamsky's laptop. Good work. Now, attach your headset to the USB port and start uploading the data. I'm on it, Chief. Antidote file is incoming. Got it. What's next? Nothing. I'm pulling the plug. Don't try to be funny, Hansen. Hey, according to you, that file is all you really need. You listen good, Hansen. You get that uplink working right now. I want that data. This guy's a you prick. The rest of this, come get it yourself. Hey, offer to blow up this place. Come, yes, yes. Okay. Great. Tell me what I have to do. Are you fucking kidding me? I found me? some of the explosive supply, but I don't have enough for both platforms. There's a supply room below the waterline where you can get more. Security. Fuck you. I'll call you with the code when I find it, and I'll mark the spots where you need to set the charges. I know everything there is to know about this, including how to do Could with a health. Well, any anytime soon, really. Because my controller's doing the annoying vibration thing, where it's like, you're low health. Like, I can, I can see that. I don't need an indicator to make me feel more annoyed about it. I hate that. I know you can probably turn it off, but still. I don't like... 
It's unlocked. Control the feedback in general. I don't like, never like the fucking rumble pack back in the day. I don't, I fucking hate the haptic feedback on the PS5's controllers. It's fucking Hansen, awful. The code is 19012. You'll need to go in through the main lab elevator. Got it. Just be careful. You too. I think we just need to get back. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. I think we need to go all the way down here now, unfortunately for me again. Going back into this area once more. Oh my god, more backtracking. One of these guys breaks out. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Like I'm, I'm hooping it. Is what I mean. I think we've got the code for this door now. It's unlocked. Yeah, this is a new area. Oh, this looks shit. I don't have any fucking help. little baby health kit. Baby's first health kit would be phenomenal. This room is going to be full of shit when we get back. This whole place is going to be an absolute fucking death trap, I can just tell. Look at all the fucking explosive shit. This is going to be really bad. There's no way I'm surviving this, guys. Let's see how badly this goes. Are we ready? The oh. automatic defense system is active. Repeat, the automatic defense system is active. There's a big boy down here too, excellent. I'm in real trouble, I should not have done that. Oh, they've, oh, okay, we're, we're, we're redoing this. We're redoing this shit. Warning. The automatic defense system is active. Repeat. The automatic defense system is active.
There we go. Had to use quite a bit of ammo, but uh, we were victorious, yeah? Just need to get rid of this button. There we go. Without actually getting hit, I managed to do that there. That's pretty fucking awesome, actually. We'll look around for ammo and shit. And hopefully a fucking heal. I think we were meant to like push through the room, but... That actually ended up being a much better place to hold out. Because like I said, I didn't even get touched by the fucking things. Which is good. Could still really do with that health kit though. Game has been very, very tight on supplies. I mean, it's a survival horror game, I get it. But, um... Usually they're not quite as tight as supplies as this. On, um... Oh, this door is fused up. Like, that door has got, like, fucking TNT around it. I have a, a potentially terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Because, uh, it's kind of funny. I don't know what the best place to stand to do this is. Because there's, like, there's not really a good place to stand anywhere around here, now I can see. Alright. If I die, remember me, everyone, okay? As a known king. Interesting. Well, that is not a good security plan, to be honest with you. It's unlocked. All right, we're somewhere else now. We're making progress. Get the C4 and place the charges in the right order. Well, this looks fucking awful. Okay. This is uh, a room I feel where if a single shot goes off, I'm probably dead. doesn't look like it, right? Don't have any more ammunition. Well, that's just so fucking rude. Oh, is that a hole? No, it is not. I was excited for a minute. I was like, oh, is there a sneaky shortcut? I'm pretty sure as soon as I pick this up, everything's going to go to shit. Risk it. Fuck it. Pick it up. Got the C4 charges. If I shoot in here, I think everything dies. Yeah, this could be a real problem. I think that may have worked. Holy shit. I have no health. But I think it do I think it did work. It got rid of everything, including the explosive barrels. Oh my god, that's really fucking great. I mean, I've got no health, but I've got to save. This is going to really suck, guys. This is going to be a nightmare. The oh, no.
got health. Interesting one at the very least. I can't wait to get the fuck out of this fucking place, like, holy shit. Oh no, it's this room. Right? It's this room. Yeah. It's the invisible ones. I'm gonna probably hoof it, I'm gonna be honest with you. That went pretty well in the end, you see? Big guy's gonna probably bust out in here, I'm gonna guess. Maybe not. And this should take me back to the elevator. Oh, another save already? Oh, this is, of course. So this is, so from here on, I think the entire game is on a timer, and we have to get out in time. Which uh, is obviously easier said than done, and I think I found this very stressful last time I played it. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be able to do it a lot easier this time. Can't wait. Things are going to get difficult from here on out, okay? We're basically in the final stint of the game now. We're going to be doing a lot of panicking, a lot of worrying about heals, a lot of just very bum situations. However, because I'm playing this on a special PlayStation, this should make it significantly easier than the last time that I played, at the very least. Okay. What is here? You don't think so? No, well, that's just rude. Pages from Barakev's diary. I guess we should read that before everything goes to... Oh, I should read this too. My dearest Anna, what I promised you in my last letter is now coming about. The power within me is greater than what I imagined in my wildest dreams. So I have the impression that my metamorphosis is not yet complete. My arms are continuing to develop. Soon whoever approaches me will have to suffer the consequences of my furious anger. Anna, at last I found what I've been looking for. An appointment with, all my, with immortality. Come with me, Anna. It's the most beautiful of all kingdoms. I built it for you, Anna, my dear daughter. I feel so strong. I must destroy the antidote. I don't want to go back to where I came from. Interesting. We have excellent results with the latest strain of Victor's serums. However, while they are preventing the exiles from killing their hosts, the poor souls continue to undergo hideous and painful mutations. The serum also seems to speed up certain phases of the process. What we are creating here can only be called monsters. One of the experimental subjects is driving me mad. I don't understand why Victor insists on keeping his failures. The thing is constantly bellowing and climbing the walls and ceiling of its cell. It's a good thing that it hates the light, otherwise it would be virtually uncontrollable. But the shouting it goes on all night, the sound of it chills my blood. Is that a clue, I guess? It stared at me all day in the lab. I could feel its eyes on me everywhere I went. A. Karev and L. Bull have noticed my fear of it. Why won't Victor destroy it? Today I caught the damn creature trying to take it apart its cell. I swear it started smiling at me when I saw it. I forced it back into a corner with a strong light before fetching a technician. M. Pirov to repair the damage. It howled the entire time as if to let me know that someday it'll come for me. I've acquired new powers. I spent all day watching it, and to my horror I discovered that its howling made all the lights in the entire scientific module go out. Oh, we fought these. Fortunately, the power was quickly re-established, but it gave the hideous scream and the lights died again. I tried talking to Victor about it, but he would have none of it. Today we infected the last of the prisoners. Yusupov brought it in for us... Yusupov had brought in for use as test subjects. Can be used an additional 20 centiliters of serum. Where the results look the same. Uncontrollable asymmetrical mutation. I think these test subjects will be put down. Victor is furious. Like me, he feels that we are on the verge of a breakthrough, and there are only a few more subjects are needed. While I do not feel remorse, my sleep is haunted by terrible nightmares. Even if the test subjects are dangerous criminals, they deserve better than this. I'll be glad to go back to working on apes and other lesser creatures. 
One of Anna Sterenkov's men went missing today. An experimental specimen vanished this morning. I do not mean that it escaped, it vanished. All that could be seen was a slight disturbance in the air, like some sort of heat mist. It's terrifying to think of the powers that we may be unleashing here. We have established beyond all doubt the missing specimen is still in its containment cell. Its aggression and insanity must have reached a threshold after which it started bashing itself against the walls of its confinement in an attempt to escape. When it struck hard enough to injure itself, it faded into view for a moment and tried to escape. Clearly, injury renders it visible. Is its last trace of humanity? We've taken to fill in the specimen's chamber with a fine mist which enables us to better observe it. Its appearance is most strange. Death no longer seems to be at work. Two more guards have disappeared, and as Chenkov is claiming any, accusing anyone and everyone, Victor is strangely calm, arguing that he's probably got drunk and fell overboard. This is plausible, those mercenaries crave over the weapons, alcohol and sex, and yet Victor's lack of concern is disquieting. I wish I could believe him. When I came to the lab the morning, it was clear that someone had been working there all night. I immediately suspected these two people. I don't trust. I asked Victor about it, and he said I was imagining things, that I'd been working too hard. He was the last person here, and I kept a little trust. I often think I'm a university friend, D. Florinov. I, would have I should have taken his advice, but it's too late now. Yuspinov left today aboard the whaling ship. He claimed he was going with Lubensky to make sure that we got some good specimens for the lab. I think he just wants to get away from Victor. At first, Yuspinov had to use Anna as a hostage to get Victor to work for him. But now Kamsky is more enthusiastic about it than Yuspinov. It's also a strange reversal of roles. Anna also went along, of course. I find myself fearing for her safety, but perhaps she's safer with Colonel Dmitry Yuspinov than she is here. Another mercenary has vanished. And as Chenko is beside himself with anger, he blames American spies. One of the exocell containment chambers is empty. We are now all in terrible danger. Victor seems unconcerned, claiming the creature died, so he threw it overboard. I was furious. I told Victor that if one of the creatures dies, we have a scientific duty to study it to find out why. Two other researchers agreed with me, but Victor replied by saying he learned what he wanted from the specimen. He also said that he'd come up with a solution to the problem of not having what he called appropriate subjects. He would say no more on the subject, however, telling me that I should not worry myself with such details, especially when the work on the antidote was going so well. Two more mercenaries are missing. He reckons there must be a breach of the magnetic jamming. I think he's barking up the wrong tree. We established radio contact with the whaler today. A storm is moving in, making communication very difficult. However, I'm sure I heard them say that they thought there were exocells on board. I felt my blood go cold. Anischenko gave them orders to turn back, but there was no reply. They've not responded to any of our calls since. I'm surprised myself, praying for the souls of those on board, especially for Anna, whose only misdeed is being the daughter of her father. Today is a day of calamity. Victor has vanished, his notebooks are missing, as is his laptop. The samples of serum and antidote we were working on, gone too. Perhaps he's gone mad and thrown himself into the sea, unable to bear the things he's done. Personally, I don't think so. I'm convinced he decided to experiment upon himself and he's hiding somewhere, awaiting metamorphosis. He often said his ultimate objective was to arrest the exocell process. He said it would be a tremendous feat to harness the creature's power mutations and subsequent changes of personality. If I ever set eyes on him again, I do not think I will recognize him. Hopefully all this is a bad dream. God help us all if he succeeds. Still no word today from the whaler, still no sign of Victor, and today someone released the last remaining specimens from the lab. They are now roaming all over the platform and the exocells are breeding like wildfire. Anischenko has barricaded himself in, like the men, but it, in with his men, but it's useless. I await certain deaths. Victor, what have you done? This time I was very nearly done for I'm going to take refuge in the sick bay. As far as I'm aware, there have been no attacks there. I'm taking the last prototype and a dose of antidote. I know there are others in Kamsky's lab, but I can't bring myself to go there. Anna will come looking for me. Please hurry, Anna. I'm afraid there may not be much left of me by the time you get here. Two helicopter pilots have been killed. Anna is now the only one who can save me. Well, that was a really fucking long note. Like, unnecessarily really fucking long. Alright, let's get set up. We got long chases to come, okay? Alright, we ready, guys? Now it's time for the end game. So making sure everything's recording good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's do this. Probably gonna take a few tries this by the way. Because the camera angles here are really bad. Think I made it? I did. First one done, guys. Oh my god. Could have gone a lot worse. No idea where I'm going now, by the way, but uh, it'll be fine, probably. Well, this is definitely the way. Looks like we're going to blow up the bridge here, from what I recall. I know these bits really do are really terrible, so uh, 
Wish me luck. At least it's given you checkpoints beforehand. I, I just remember really struggling, but I, I also think maybe I did this and I was just completely lost most of the time I was doing it. All right. I'm waiting for resistance to go back up before I place it. I think we made that one too. Oh, we can go around and get ammo and stuff again as well. We have to do a complete loot fucking round again, I believe, here. Exactly the same as before. There's gonna be a ton of enemies in the way though this time, surely. Like a ton. Because I left a load alive. Alright, whatever. Let's get uh, health and ammo and see what happens. We'll stock up to full. I think this is the last time we can stock up before the final boss fights. Although you don't use normal ammo for the final boss in this game. I will say that. It's unfortunately based on quick time events. Uh, which sounds uh, fucking awful, actually. I'm gonna be honest. again. Wow, that was, uh, that was clutch. This is gonna suck. New enemy? What the? Yep. This is bad. Oh, man. Or is it the same enemy from before? I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to be booking it here. It's the same ones. I thought it was a new enemy, but it's just the, it's just the arm guys. That should just kill him. That should be like game over at that point, you know. <laughs> this is going to be fun. What does that achieve? Why did, why did I do that? Did I just open this door? Oh, this is not, this is a dead, oh no. Oh no. I've got to get past them still. Wish me luck, guys. Probably gonna really fucking need it now. Although I'm not sure they've mastered stairs. They have, they, they have, they have mastered stairs. I have no resistance left. Be good if I could get some resistance back, game. No rush or anything, but if I don't get it back, I'm gonna be fucking dead, so if you give it back to me, that'd be fucking fantastic. Thank you. Go, 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 Oh wow, there's a lot there's a lot more than that in there now. Oh my god, we got to another save. Holy shit, I don't know how I did that, but I'm very excited I did it! Okay. Okay.
Okay. Okay. This is the last C4, I think. We're like right near the end of the game. There it is. Okay. This could be amazing, this could go really wrong. We ready? This is where I died the most, I think, playing this game. Here we go. time. First fucking time, guys. I'm very surprised. Mission accomplished. I'm near the walkway between platforms. There's a helicopter on the other side. They were repairing it when I left. If Hi. it's working, I can fly us out of here. You learned to fly a chopper? I had to do something with my time here. Beautiful. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm just running to this elevator. I do not care about anything else right now. Except getting the fuck out of here and not dying. Yes! Oh my god, guys, we're getting so close! A ton of enemies in here. I'm just going to do my best to run. It's probably going to at least get me a few times, but hopefully I can get through without too much death. This one here, hopefully. Yeah, I think this is the final save point of the game. I got reasonable health. <laughs> Touch and go, hopefully. I think this is the final save point of the game, though. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> this is going to be a fucking disaster, guys. I just know it. Go, go, go. This is the finale. I have mostly full ammo. Tom, just a few charges left to set. Hi, Daddy. I'm not sure if that was meant to be slow motion or the game just shat itself. Papa? I'm guessing there's health on the bodies actually. Which might be a good idea. Do it after. Yeah, I don't need ammo, dude. I need fucking health, dude. That's what I need. Oh, great. I think I fucked that up. Oh, no, I didn't. I got him back. Unfortunately, I'm absolutely fucked. I don't think we're getting more health between scenes here, unfortunately for me. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with little health. I think I should probably. I, have... I am I am fucked. There's no fucking the way I'm gonna survive this. I'm just gonna... So what you gotta do here is do three of those quicktime events that I just did. These... If I can do this... Why, why did that not count? That was bullshit. He just threw me. I unfortunately think I'm gonna have to do this again... multiple times. Because there's no health on the fucking... Of course, there's a course there is. This game is like fucking garbage for that. Like, it really is bad.
All right, we've got two critical hits on this guy now. This is really difficult. It's like my 30th and 40th try, but I managed to get two critical hits done now at least. There we go. Is that three? Is he dead? Is he dead? He might be dead. Oh my god, I think I did it. I think I beat the game. Holy shit. There might be a runaway thing though, unfortunately. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I can get out the fuck out. I think this is it. Hurry, get in. We did it! We beat Cold Fear! A lot better than the last time I played it, I will say that. There was frustrating bits, but generally this is way better than I remember it being. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Papa. What the fuck? Consider this an emancipation. Oh, shut up now. <laughs> I love this shit, guys. I really do. That was... That, I enjoyed that. That last fight was tough, but we got through it. And that is... Cold Fear. Complete. Not a bad little game. Uh, I can see why Ubisoft didn't really dabble much in horror after this, though, because it's not great. Like, it's it's like a mid-tier Resident Evil clone. You know, it is it is what it is. Like, it's not awful, but I played I played a lot. A lot worse. I played a lot better. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, if you've enjoyed this playthrough of Cold Fear, it's really important you do the following things. Like the video, comment on the video. That really helps us in terms of getting videos out to more people and helping our channel grow. We are really struggling at the moment on Patreon. If you want to help us out, consider pledging. There's a link in our description if you want to go and pledge there. If you like these long plays, we have a ton more of them planned for this month and a ton more of them coming. Please consider supporting them. They take a lot of work, and I really hope you enjoyed Cold Fear. I will see you guys later. Thanks for being amazing and no, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic, wonderful, brilliant rest of your day. See you later, guys.